He is one of the most powerful public servants in the state of Maryland and the first African American to serve as the county executive of Howard County. And tonight, Dr. Kevin Ball says he's not done yet. WJZ is the only station to learn well in advance that Calvin Ball will defy what others had predicted that he would seek to run for governor of Maryland. Instead, he announced this morning that he wants to remain in his position and seek reelection. Tonight, he speaks only to WJZ and reveals little known facts about his time in office so far. Columbia was founded upon the tenets of equity, of diversity. However, bringing people together doesn't necessarily eliminate conflict. Sometimes it even causes conflict. During his term as county executive, Dr. Calvin Ball faced a number of incredible challenges. Under his watch, he directed the mitigation of potentially deadly floodwaters in downtown Ellicott City. He oversaw the construction of a new $75 million courthouse. He seeks to bring technology and Wi-Fi within reach of the poorest citizens, and he navigated some of the most tumultuous times in our nation's history. The coronavirus pandemic and the recurring issues of race that have brought violence and fear across the nation. As a black man who has grown up in Maryland, I've seen some of the challenges, the struggles, and so having these critical conversations on race, this racial reckoning, spoke to me personally. However, when I saw things like anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, Asian hate, my goal was to serve all of Howard County and be that beacon of light for all of Maryland. Through it all, Calvin Ball reflects on his own life and how race issues affected him personally as the first African American to lead the wealthiest county in the state. Have you ever experienced uh, an issue of race? Uh, in your life. I've experienced a great deal of racism in my life. Of course, as a young man aspiring to do more, and then as county executive, uh, unfortunately, oftentimes, when there are decisions made, there we went from a place of the more overt racism of being just called the N-word out of our name to this much more subtle racism. Things like when I make a decision about ensuring that there's a full spectrum of affordable housing. People saying, well, we don't want you to bring those people from Baltimore. Or talking about uh, making sure that our uh, neighbors who are immigrants are safe and feel safe. Hearing things like, well, we don't want those people or why uh, don't we build the wall taller. Dr. Ball's soft voice and calm demeanor masks the skillful and strategic politician who has maneuvered the intense political waters of Howard County, causing many to think he has higher aspirations, which may be true. But for now, he will stay in the county where he lives and is raising two daughters, one soon to head off to college. I know right now my work isn't done, so I plan on running for re-election as Howard County Executive to continue serving and growing and building and I look forward to working with the next governor and serving our entire state. Many people speculated obviously as you said uh, that you might consider running for governor. Is that still a possibility? I think just like when many people thought that me becoming County Executive was an impossibility, I would tell them then and I'll tell them now anything's possible. Dr. Ball is a trained educator and mediator and hopes to use those skills to bring his constituency to, to together. And as you know, Howard County prides itself on this diverse population. Indeed. You know? Happily, happily lived there for many yes. years myself, and mm -hmm. he's uh, terrific. And I, I wouldn't rule anything out in his future. No, most, most definitely.